so my people um good afternoon good afternoon once again good afternoon um, yeah you don't tune into another episode of i'm funny so i'm your host uh, henry and it's still crack house um this this show be say uh, like i've been explaining i'm in the first episode say this show is about helping nigerians and um, touching lives and seeing how we can contribute to you know lifting the lives of our fellow brothers and sisters back in nigeria because of the situation the current situation of things in nigeria now as um as you guys might have known already and um, things are getting kind of out of control now things are going from bad to worse since the removal of um fuel subsidy um a lot of things prices of things have gone up and um yeah and um yeah people are live life is um um it's becoming difficult every day for an average nigerian to um to uh, to, to just survive so we're waiting we day here to do is to try and see how we can help each other how we can help people encourage people to do something and um, just see what we can do to support the uh, people with genuine ideas in nigeria people who were one of lift their standard of living in nigeria so I'm Henry, and without wasting much time, this show, as I don't already know, could the host with the host, I'm in Pidgin English. I don't need to explain that anymore. I don't explain I'm in the first episode. So waiting they be say, hmm, so today it be like, say, I could talk on so many things. I could touch on so many things because it gets so many things. Where we say, where we they do now in Nigeria, where we say, person need Get to talk about them but um before i go into all that as you guys don't know already or maybe i don't tell you now i never tell you now me we be nigeria we live um, outside of nigeria i always try as much as possible to keep myself current with the situation with the with them um, events happening in nigeria this by say i know the nigeria but i'm always trying to like equip myself and make myself like day current to know what thing that happen for my home country you know say as you grow old you could begin to pay attention to some things you could begin pick interest in some things to see how you fit contribute how these things they affect you because believe it or not believe it or not we where we where they outside of nigeria the decisions where our politicians they make in nigeria they affect they affect us where they outside of nigeria whether you believe me or not decisions where them they make back home they affect us nigerians where they outside of nigeria i could tell you now one example i could give you now one example i'm a dual citizen yes i hold two passports but are they always anytime i want go renew my nigerian passport it will always be one problem or the other. That decision, they know they make I'm here for my con- for the country, but for my current country here where I base now. That decision they from Nigeria. So anything where the people, the immigration people in Nigeria do, it could reflect on the immigration, on the performance of the immigration people here in Europe. I don't know whether I'm get with you at all. So um the foreign policies where our government they make with foreign countries they affect how then they see us nigerians outside of nigeria and that's a fact so when you don't reach a certain age and then you don't acquire a certain something some certain things in life you suppose start to pay attention to things where they happen back home because you suppose no say one day one day as we they talk and either your children or your grandchildren or your great grandchildren will or might want to go home to like retrace their origin where did their great grandfather come from I, I don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say one day your children may or might your great grandchildren might want to know who 
uh, or where their great great grandfather came from oh look they say i have a drop of black uh, blood in me hmm which means i'm black so where how did i how did this black blood came out uh, come about so they will all may start asking questions say where did my great great grandfather where did our great great grandfather come from so when you don't reach that age and you don't acquire some certain things in life you suppose no say okay start to pay attention to things where they happen back home so why am i telling you guys all this me and where they obodo yibo are they get my information in this no, no be say i want to, to, to try promote a certain people but the truth be say as i don't talk and before say we suppose call out things for waiting things be we suppose call out things for waiting things be um, are they get news and are the only news channel from where they nigeria where could give you authentic confirmed verified news be that news agency of nigeria me they get my news me they get my news everything or everything where i need to know if i want check news i know they listen to all these other at the go news agency of nigeria before before i've been they listen to like they go punch punch newspaper the guardian newspaper and all of them like but i come notice say anytime we punch newspaper post anything them go the two days later them go retract them them go say na fake news that news been be so them go retract them you know them go say them take them back them <laughs> go say they don't take the story back then go begin sound like our guy we make one statement like that we no no say mike still there on he make that statement so he come take that statement back see we got tell us something eh Make a deal or something. Make a just tip this one in. If you don't ever visit, I, I'm from a quiet boom. By the way, if you don't ever visit a quiet boom state, if you have ever visited a quiet boom state, if you have ever visited to you, stay that to you. If you don't ever go a quiet boom, you could understand. Say. And I'm not saying this for people to come at me and start to attack me, but the truth be say we could need to I could say the truth how it be. If you don't ever visit a quiet boom state, if you don't ever visit a quiet boom state, you could understand say no matter what thing our Ghanaian presidents do, a quiet boom people no go ever get mad at them. No matter what our senior president do, a quiet one people no go vex for her. I know they're here to explain why. If you won't know why I'm making that statement, if you don't know why I don't make that statement, make you if you dey Niger buy ticket travel to you, you uh, travel to a quiet one, you could understand why you you could understand and know why I be make that statement. See, I go, I, I go Nigeria last year, 2020. By the way, this is still Mfonizo, the good luck show. Mfonizo means good luck in Ibibio. Mfonizo means I still they wait for people where get case. If you get problem, you need help, you need money to start small business. Contact me. The Telegram address they they. I know they give number out because I'm still waiting for the government to approve the number. We are go put on a where people feel calling. But drop a message. Go on Telegram. If you go to Telegram or Telegram, now the same thing at Crack House or you send me direct message and uh, on Instagram at Crack House. It could be private. Nobody could need to see your number. So um. Why I bring that our Oga president story put for this matter? Be say, I go Nigeria last year. As my sister Komot picked me for God's will at Babio, no Victor Tak International Airport. My sister picked me. I sit on inside moto. My sister drove me from the airport to the hotel we have been uh, get accommodation. We have been reserved accommodation. 
throughout the journey uh, the journey been there like i think an hour or so or 45 minutes from the airport to the city of you there is no single pothole where they had that road no single pothole there the road so me is it on for my motor for the motor where my sister they drive i asked my sister say you guys they enjoy you just look at you when they drive road they very clean and wide no single pothole compared to lagos Lagos, where be the economic uh, hubs of Nigeria? Where be the commercial nave, this thing, center of Niger? Uh, in fact, make I show now you my journey, you know, the journey in my sister's car from the airport to my hotel. Then I could show now Lagos to wash. Wow. <laughs> wow. No, no single pothole. <laughs> right from the <laughs> okay. See? I don't see him. If you don't go a quiet bomb before, then you could know, say, no matter what thing God will have you do, a quiet bomb people ever get this connection with them. And it's a very good relationship. Why? Because of what thing you do for a quiet bomb. In a quiet bomb, the time when be governor. So, I, I no go drag that story for that. Make one no crucify me. I don't support corruption. I don't support corruption in any way, form, or shape. But I just want to tell you, I say, you go, you know, I probably you need to do more for Akwaibon people to begin get case against them. I'm just saying it. So, which brings me to, which brings me back to my story where I've been telling, I say, I they get my news from news agency of Nigeria. <laughs> and uh, yesterday, uh, as I logged onto the, uh, this thing, online uh, this thing platform to get info, now I see one headline. It says, NDLA. NDLA is the... Wait. NDLA, now them be the... Um, the Food and Drug Administration thing for Nigeria. Be? So... Wait, 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 I get them here. Uh, news Agency of Nigeria, yeah. So then say NDLA something intercepted them, um, say them um, intercepted um, a skunk. Yes, a skunk. When I know we think skunk, be happy. <laughs> say the intercepted a skong a skong yes say they intercepted a skong and um like say the skong no bad or no funny rich they say they intercepted a skong and um some loving gas So, uh, me go ask myself, say, it, it makes sense. It, it, it makes sense for NDLA to intercept loving cars, uh, gas. Am I saying gas? I, I, I believe your man, we get accent, funny accent. So, I can understand, say, yes, it makes sense for them to discover loving gas. See, see, situation for Niger tough well, well. Situation tough, well, well. Nigeria tough, well, well. So,
of well well now him be say one smart importer I don't notice say it he say it is very hard now for nigerians to they smile naturally because they say an angry a hungry man is an angry man abi a person where hunger they wire person where hardship the wire no fit love now a person where hunger the wire where hardship they knock for head like this no fit smile so i one smart businessman go get that smart idea to import laughing gas at least nigerians go need laughing gas it go to help nigerians they put a smile on their faces have we <laughs> i'm not trying to be mean or ridiculous but i just think it's it is funny them intercepting laughing gas because if you really ask yourself waiting person go import laughing gas in nigeria for children's events where we say they go get clown a, a clown go wear a um, clown go wear clown costume come use laughing gas then go make everybody laugh no me i feel say why that person import that gas not to maybe the distributor to nigerians they go help nigerians they laugh more i'm telling you because situation tough things hard so nigerians know they you know it is it, it, it very hard now to the see a, an ordinary niger person smile or laugh you know so um maybe i am make that that person import laughing gas uh, nah i know the country our country had well well eh? our country had well well sometimes you could just this is sometimes you could begin they wonder say what did we do where did we go wrong i'm telling you guys what did we do wrong or what are we not doing right what are we missing what are we missing yeah and um, if we are missing something how how can we or how do we locate that thing and fix it or get rid of that thing the thing they be said that thing they they you know they in our face they face us like this for face to like this the thing be say we the way where them organize our uh, the, the, the way where we don't pro where them don't where they don't program us be say that thing where they look us for face like this with a very stone face them don't like put another image you know like, like that thing be this then them put another small foil in front of that thing's face the, but that foil can't be like a smiley face where we say it could deceive to, you know to deceive you where they look at that thing into into thinking say waiting you they look at is friendly but you know no say if you peel that foil if you peel that fake mask come out waiting they really stare in your face looks like this instead of this now i make it day you know that i make it a day it is very difficult for us to fix our problems because if you look at them like this way you could see say the small small problems where other people other countries you know don't fix you know there's you know small small problems will be like nothing for other countries them don't fix them day day you go see say we in nigeria say we in nigeria are having difficult times fixing those same problems you go see say small small tertiary chingini chingini problems we will not be anything you could see say we they find them very difficult in nigeria to control them or to get rid of them it is only in nigeria you will see a minister a commissioner will buy cctv camera make an occasion to unfill to dedicate 
to present CCTV cameras to the public. And you like, what? It's CCTV camera. It's a one euro, five euro camera. But in Nigeria, a minister will organize a party. A commissioner will organize an opening, an unveiling event where they will call a man of God to come pray over the camera. They will make a big case out of it. Call television stations to come to, to come record it. Then they will allocate huge amount of money for this event. They will steal that money first. Just and the Nigerians will look like it's a big thing. It's in a huge event. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's only in Nigeria they will build a road and a, a minister will go commission it. The president will go commission a new road. The president will go commission a new building. And you're like, it's a fucking building. Sorry for causing. It's a building. It's a road. It's a necessity. It's waiting people need. It's not supposed to be a big deal. It's not a big deal. Nobody say you achieve anything. In a wedding, you're supposed to do. You're not doing the people any favor. Now, waiting, you owe the, you you owe it to the people to build roads, to construct roads. You're not doing them any favor. <laughs> so, so the nobody say you go see a minister go buy buses for the state to. It, it, they use the state's money by those bosses. But you go call a man of God. You go make an, a, an event, then go make announcement. Then go invite the TV station. They go call FEMA. Then the minister go steal some money from that project put for him pocket. And, and you begin like, you're not doing the people any favor. Now, what things suppose happen be that? And now, why they voted you into office be that? And now, why they handed over that position to you be that? You're not doing the people any favor. You do like say, 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 say na favor na you they do the people. And you they tell, you, you know. See, I don't talk, I'm in the first episode, say, I'm not here to knock my country, but I'm here to see how we fit contributing, correcting some of the problems where we they face in our country. And I want help. So I don't talk, say, anybody, if you get small business where you want to start, you don't know where to run to. If you don't go bank, bank could, could, could turn you down. Because one, you don't get anything where you could put up as collateral. So bank could reject you. So if bank don't reject you, now, now waiting me a day here to contribute to help you with that small, small tertiary money for anything where you want, any any emergency. I won't try to see how if it play the part where me if it play as I don't do over you put day now. You know, time don't reach me with a give back. If you if you I, I don't send out this plea to my fellow brothers and sisters where they are brought, say if God don't bless you, give you small wealth. Uh, 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 like a Garcinet president, I take that back. If God don't bless you, give you small riches. Uh, because, <laughs> because believe me, there is a difference between wealth and riches. We being wealthy and being rich. So if God don't bless you with small riches and you never know how to turn them into wealth, try help some people. Some people there for village, we need your help. We be say any small thing where you feed help them, feed take them a very long way. People there now, we be say if you give them twenty euros, they will worship you. People there now, we be say if you give them twenty pounds, they will worship you. People there now, we be say if you give them fifty dollars, they will worship you. It is true. It is true. It is true. At the hear story, you know, I get people from Nigeria where they tell me stories. People don't they pack their motors now, they join buses. Why? Because they know fit afford to buy fuel again to fuel their motor now. All those people when no been get food chop, but them get money instead of using that money to do better thing, them go buy a huge SUV. Because nobody been lecture them, been inform them say SUV they consume fuel pass small small sedan so all those people all those people you see education education when people hear education the first thing where they go they come to them to their mind they say 
that to go to a certain building, you sit down, get told some things by some person, and at the end of, I think, some at the end of a certain duration period of time, they issued you with a piece of paper and certified you graduate. Say, <laughs> when person hear education, now waiting they come to their mind with that. But when I say education, I mean waiting with a, they miss um, waiting with they call sometimes common sense. Some people know they're well informed to know say an SUV consumes more fuel than a sedan than a smaller car. I don't see people for Nigeria when no get food job, but they will go borrow money, take credit just to do wedding to invite people to come and eat, cook for people to please people. After the wedding don't finish, six months into their marriage life, they begin get problems. So, life tough. I hear say people now no fit afford to buy fuel again. People where been get motor don't drop the motor. They don't pack their motor now. They join buses, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. You are creating jobs for people. You know the, 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 the drivers go earn more money. My case. On that, my case against that, be say the drivers now they know they pity the people. They will now take advantage of the situation where they are on ground already to inflict prices. So places where place where you've been pay like a hundred naira before, go now jump now become three hundred naira. The places the place where you've been pay three thousand naira before, go now become ten thousand naira. Now the case where me I get be that that is not helping matter. That is not helping matter. I'm telling you now, that is not helping matter. So, uh, but maybe we stop to the to to be mean. Yes, mean because that is just plain out mean. You know, we are just mean. That is just being evil. But we stop to the do some those kind things because we all all of us. One, they pray for a better country, better country, how we fit move the country forward, how we, how we fit make the country forward. Now, while saying that and while shouting and screaming, again, say, say corruption, say politicians bad, say this is it. Look in the mirror while doing that, while screaming. When you they scream, they shout, look in the mirror. As you they scream, stand in front of a mirror and they scream, they complain. They do that complaint. Because if you sell something, something you imported two years ago, when there was still fuel subsidy, when fuel subsidy was still on, you imported that thing two years ago. Now, is the president removed subsidy in when May? The thing where you imported with fuel subsidy on top, where we say you know been spend much import, you come blow the price up. Why? Because you say they don't remove uh, subsidy. Waiting subsidy con- carry concern things where you've been reported three years ago. You, you see, eh, we suppose do things. We suppose do things. They understand. Say every action gets its own reaction. Them say the person where throws stone put for where where throws stone. For crowd, Abi, say either that stone fit that that stone fit hit anybody where they related to rap. So when we Nigerians they do things, make we they think of the repercussion, the after effect, you know, the ripple effect of that thing where we they do. Because, see, if if I no get the love of my country genuinely at heart for my heart i know because come on to waste my time do this <laughs> i'm telling you that the truth if i don't get the love of my country and the law see nigerian nigeria is a beautiful place and nigerians are beautiful people if if i don't get the love of nigeria inside my heart i know could do this i know could create this podcast to start this show that's the only home I have. If living outside of Nigeria, if living in Europe has taught me anything, it don't teach me say Nigeria is my home. 
because they get so many things we are don't pass through in this Oboro Yibo. We are there where they always remind me, say, there is no place like home. You can't experience this in Nigeria. If you are, if you do Oboro Yibo, you can understand what I talk. You can understand what I mean. You get things where you the experience in Canada. You get things where you the experience in America. You get things where you the uh, when I say about uh, Canada and America, America, Canada is America. You get things where you go experience in the United USA of America. You get things where you go. Uh, you get things where you go experience in uh, in the UK. You get things where you go experience in Australia, New Zealand, anywhere where you there where no be your home. We go remind you. We go remind you. Say <laughs> that thing no it happen for your home country, for your homeland. I, I, I no need to stress too much. I know what I mean. If you live abroad, you know what I mean. So w- 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 one other thing in the next episode, because I know one, I want to do this every thirty minutes to start it thirty thirty minutes first. To see how you know, to see the reaction, how people react to this show. Then um, you know, I'll, I'll be talking about so many things like food, the food where we they eat, the things we what we are, the things we they do, the things where we they do now concerning food, agriculture. Where we say the blowback in ten years could be enormous, could be disastrous. That I could talk about in the next episode. Now I could talk about health too. Health where concerned Nigerians. So this show now, when I see all the videos where I don't make about food and how you feed, stay healthy, I won't bring them into one umbrella. Where be this some funny social? So I got to talk about them. It's like I will do it. I will be hosting it every day to that make the information the flow, make with the exchange information. If you feed comments, if it's a live show, you can comment. We talk. You can comment, drop your knowledge, drop what you feel, how you feel, say B. This show now to help people, it's called Mfonizo. Mfonizo means good luck. So I'm still waiting for the first person we could bring in case come make us see how if it help them. You have to be a Nigerian residing in Nigeria and then your business idea, your idea, your problems get to be authentic for me to react. So nine B so that's it. Um yes. <sighs> Still I'm still trying to, you know, when you wake up in the morning and um, you still, you, you like, you see yourself, you see yourself, you are okay. There is nothing, you know, when you wake up in the morning and um, you are alive, and um, you go in the kitchen, there is something to eat. You know, you look at your children, they are okay, they are healthy. You have a beautiful wife, you have, you know, your life is just straight. You want to go out, as you want, come out, go out, you go out, open your garage, your nice car, the inside garage, you enter and drive, come out. You want to buy something, you come out money, pay for them. You want to do something, if you go own credit card, you use your credit card, on, it's on limit. Then, this now waiting do me last night. Now I want to that. So then, yes, I mean, they come home last night around 11, 12 in the night. As I drive, there was, you know, this moon, like the moon where been come out last night, been there very spiritual believe me i don't know what thing last night been be but that moon the significance of that thing that the, the appearance of that moon been there very spiritual to me so as i they look the moon i just the thing say damn man damn damn <laughs> say i don't come a long way man say i don't come a long way Mm. 
and go bury my friend, my childhood friend, on Saturday. So many of the... Uh, I don't meet people for my life as meet when they go, you know, my life. They I don't meet people where we say 90% of those people are no longer alive today. 90% of the people where I don't come across as in the, the, during my life this thing my in all my life in my life in my existence 90 percent of those people 90 percent of the people i have encountered during the course of my life my living are no longer alive so as i've been they stare at that moon while looking at that moon while staring at that moon last night I wait have been the thing be that. Say, damn. I couldn't make picture if you know because I was driving, so I couldn't stop to take a picture of the moon. But it just come to my mind, say, look, guy, you get to you need to you should appreciate life. You should appreciate life. That's what I told myself last night. Appreciate life. Appreciate you waking up in the morning, seeing your children, having something to eat, having a beautiful place to live, having a beautiful wife you go home and make love to, having a, owning a beautiful, a nice car to drive, having clothes to wear, having the, you know, the ability to host a podcast that is, you know, that your data is free, unlimited. Appreciate life. This is what I told myself last night. Appreciate life. Appreciate what God has done for you. I am one person where we say when I begin to talk about God, I know they talk about God in the context where you they talk about your God. The God where you believe and the one I, where I believe are two separate entities, two separate beings. I will talk about that. I will that that uh, another episode because I know one states is to say too much in one episode and uh, make it no day too long. So this is still funny. So the show way means good luck. Funny so is an Ibibio language. Is a funny so is an Ibibio phrase comes from the Ibibio language. Man, I don't know whether they speak in you know with that no English. <laughs> Mponi so is derived from the Bibio language. It means good luck. This is the, the show where we try as much as possible to see how we can help and contribute to the well-being, to help to like change the standard of living for some Nigeria for some people where don't had life don't hit them hard for Nigeria due to the current situation of things in Nigeria. Where we say I believe say our current president, Mr. Bola Lajibola Tinubu. Go they walk towards changing Nigeria for the better and for everybody to enjoy and you know put Nigeria on the right track to make Nigeria the way Nigeria to be how Nigeria supposed be not how it was intended to be because believe me get how Nigeria was intended to be where we say God forbid to fiakwa but I hope say Oga President Balatunubu we have been coming as a wealthy man already get good vision for Nigeria. He didn't don't see how he could make Nigeria be how we want make Nigeria be. I'm Henry, your host, and thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tell people about this. If you have problems, which you feel, say, people in the diaspora can help. If you know anyone in the diaspora, contact that person, ask that person for help. If that person can help you, now, it is not an entitlement. You're not entitled for it. If that person can help you, good. If that person no get anything to help you and in tell you, make you hold on face, I beg understand and hold on. Because for the diaspora, we know they pick money for street. We work for anything, for everything we own. So understand, say, you get time where person where they are brought, no get. In fit, no get. You get time where you could get. So understand and bear with him. Call in, write a message, telegram at crack house telegram at crack house instagram at crack house twitter at crack house all of them we could see how we could help you i will see you guys in my name the next episode please like share and always eat healthy and stay healthy and remember always shine your eye i'm henry and i'm out peace